Hi everyone, welcome and welcome back to my channel. In today's recipe, I am going to be showing you guys how to make this beautiful creamy Cajun pasta recipe. This recipe is absolutely delicious, very flavorful and takes no time. Let me show you guys how to make it. But before I begin, don't forget to like the video if you enjoy and let's get started. To begin, I am going to boil the pasta. So in a pot, I went ahead and add some water, salt, cover it, allow it to come to a boil, then pour in the pasta. Once the pasta was nice and cooked and al dente, I went ahead and drained the water and set it aside. Moving on, I have two chicken breasts here, and I know you guys are gonna say, chicken breast is too dry. If you know how to cook it properly, trust me, you will enjoy eating chicken breast, okay? So first thing I'll be doing is place them into this Ziploc bag, then I am going to use a meat tenderizer to kinda flatten the breast a little bit just so it can cook a little bit faster don't overdo it now Okay, now it's time to season the chicken breast. I am going to be adding some oil on the chicken breast first, then we can add our seasoning. Don't forget to check the description box below for the measurement. So these are the seasoning. I'm using Cajun seasoning, onion powder, garlic powder, dry parsley, paprika, and some Old Bay. Mm -hmm. You can use Old Bay on chicken as well. Read the packaging. So we're going to mix that together just like so. Then we are going to sprinkle the seasoning all over the chicken breast. And be sure to rub in the seasoning just to make sure the chicken breast comes out nice and super flavorful. So rub that in, give it a little massage if you have to. All right, perfect. Now we have our chicken breast nice and seasoned. We are going to cook it in a skillet, nonstick skillet. You are going to be adding about three to four tablespoons of oil on there. Make sure it's nice and hot. Then you are going to place your chicken breast right on there. You are going to cook this for about five to 10 minutes. So be sure to keep an eye on it so it doesn't burn and to make sure it's nice and cooked through. Once one side is nice and golden brown, and of course, look like this, you are going to flip it over and allow the other side to be cooked. Now I'm going to remove, ooh, look how beautiful. Yes, yes, yes. So now I'm going to remove the chicken, set it aside. While it's resting, it's going to be producing more juice. It's gonna be very juicy, okay? So in the same skillet, I am going to be adding about one tablespoon of butter. Then we are going in with some chopped onion as well as some chopped red bell peppers. And of course, I am going in with some tomatoes. Yes, you are going to add some diced tomatoes in there and we're going to cook those until they're nice and softened and until you notice the onions are getting translucent. Then you are going to be adding your heavy cream to make this nice and creamy, okay? And also I went ahead and add some chicken broth in there as well okay what you saw was just chicken broth i just poured it in the same container as the cream the heavy cream okay so now i am going to be adding some cream cheese i told you guys this was going to be creamy okay so trust the process Next, I am going to add one teaspoon of chicken bouillon and as well as one teaspoon of Cajun seasoning. Now, if you need to add some pepper, some salt, now is the time, okay? Make sure you taste it and add your salt 
to your liking add your pepper to your liking and then that's the time for you to add your pasta and okay just add that in and stir it together make sure the pasta is well coated with that creamy delicious kitchen sauce and then what you're going to do next guys you are going to grab your chicken that flavorful chicken breast you're going to grab that cut it into bite size however you want to cut it And tell me this chicken is not juicy. Come on now. Now I am going to place it in the pasta. Of course, I saved some for later because I like the look, the outcome when you plate the food with the chicken on top. So I added one and then I am going in with some Parmesan cheese. Just pour that on there. Now, if you want it to be creamy and cheesy, you can add some mozzarella cheese, but this is going to be strictly creamy. So we're just gonna keep it very creamy, okay? With a little bit, a little bit of Parmesan Anyways, cheese. this is how quick it is to make this dish at home. It is restaurant quality at its finest it's so good it tastes amazing the flavors oh it's just so good I hope you guys give this a try and don't forget to subscribe if you're new to my channel. Also, leave a like and I will see you all on the next, wait, let me know if you're going to try this out, of course, and I will see you guys on the next recipe. Bye guys.